Winchester, a city rich with history and home to some of the most impressive architecture in the UK, bustling with people, markets and atmosphere and a place thousands call home. But what perhaps isn't so well known is that Winchester is thought to be one of the most haunted cities in the UK and is manifested with ghosts. We set out to talk to the public to find out what was really going on. I haven't had a personal experience, but my husband has had an experience in a very old house called Field Place near Worthing, and uh, something brushed his shoulder, and when he went into it, yes, there is a ghost in that place. So he actually experienced it. Um, at my mum's work, apparently there was a ghost there. We went to the high street to speak with the locals about their experiences. Like at the top of the hill there, this big gibbet, where they used to hang people. It's underneath those arches, they used to hang people and they used to leave them there in a cage so the birds could peck at them. But it was just like us kind of... So people who came into Winchester, they'd see what happened if you were a thief or something like that and put you off it. It was people who were hanged walk up and down this street. Throughout our investigation, we have found that many people have had experiences or have stories to tell, but yet nobody has any real proof or evidence to support their claim. So are all these sightings that so many people claim to have seen genuine, or are they just fragments of their imagination? One time I... I was just lying in bed and I heard a, a sort of a bang on the roof and there was nothing, there was no rain or hail or anything to suggest that something had hit the roof apart from, I don't know, there was no sort of explanation behind it so I guess I, I sort of got up and the next day I sort of checked the roof to see if there was anything there and there wasn't. I think there was one time actually, it was late at night, I was quite young, I uh, came out my room and I could have sworn that I saw a woman standing outside my door and it was just a split second where my whole body froze. Of course. I blinked and then she wasn't there. It was just, I was just heading to get a glass of water just in the middle of the night. But it's kind of something that I thought about, but I thought, oh, you know, I, it must have just been my imagination or something. Um, when I was much younger, I used to um, live in a rented house where the woman that lived there was a spiritualist and she used to do spiritual healing, etc. And she talked to me a lot about my spiritual guide. Um, and I would on occasion say that I... Not so much now, I think you've got to be in the zone. Receptive. Yeah, receptive to those sorts of things, but certainly felt that there's been a presence. Well, when I was younger, I used to have tapping on my walls like every night, and my room was right by the bathroom door. Um, and like my mum used to hear it as well, and like we, we thought our like, house was haunted. Like the stairs would creak in the night. I remember one night I went downstairs to open the fridge, and I heard, um, heard voices when I went to open the door, the fridge. Um, that scared me a bit, but like, I mean, I'm open to the idea of it, and I, I think sometimes you can say, like, have excuses for why these things happen, but sometimes I think it could be supernatural. I believe there's something, but I'm not sure if it's necessarily like a ghost as we think they look like, or, yeah, but I believe in something. Uh, well, I haven't personally met a ghost, but if I did, then it would scare me, yeah. Uh, I, I don't think you can dismiss it. So I do think that they do exist, but I don't think they come around, you know, haunting people and being scary and stuff. 